Ready, go! Alrighty, YouTube, YouTube world, YouTube land, oh my goodness, you guys, um, <laughs> you guys, I don't know where to start, you guys have been making me laugh this afternoon, um, look, first of all, um, thanks to everyone, all the engineers, all the mathematicians, everyone out there who has verified my math on the pulley calculations, um, Eric Wolf is an engineer, he's one that I shared in the communities tab, they verified this, um, Look, guys, oh my goodness, the amount of people who are kind of crazily getting their knickers in a knot over this. Um, there's a few th few trains of thought that I want to address. Um, which one to start on? There's so many. Okay, let's start on what is probably the most important one. I don't think Lachlan nor Marcus can beat Levan in an arm wrestle. Not even close. Guys, back pressure is one component of arm wrestling. A well-rounded strength in wrist flexion, pronation, wrist rise, chop, side pressure, back pressure, down pressure, coming from a place of leverage. All of those things are huge factors. And of course, Levan is ahead in those. He is tested, and not only is he tested in the field, but he is experienced, extensively experienced. So, guys, just chill. Of course, Levan beats Lachlan. Anyway, my goodness me. The purpose of this whole back pressure lift is to assess nothing more than back pressure. Simple back pressure. Now, guys, for everyone who thinks that it was me hating on Levan, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, stop, seriously, stop. I'm not hating on Levan. Levan is a gentleman. I've met Levan. I've, I've, I've spent a couple of hours hanging out with Levan directly, chatting with Levan. So was Lachlan, so was Jordan. We did it in, in Germany on the way to the Zlotti tour. We hung out for half a day together. He's a lovely guy. He really is. And I would never discredit Levan and his achievements. Not even the slightest bit. Oh my goodness. The fact of the matter is the calculation was wrong on the way Larry and Michael facilitated that. It was an easy error to make. It was an error that many have made before. And like engineer Eric Wolf suggested, the very simplest and easiest way for us to bypass all of this is to place a crane scale in the line of the cable that you're lifting. And preferably have one with a peak force measurement Therefore, you don't have to watch the crane scale as you pick it up constantly. It'll just tell you what the highest force was that went through that crane scale at any one time during the lift. Um, Eric Wolf also mentioned to me some extra physics. I mean, this guy is a mechanical engineer. And he talked to me about work equals force um, times distance. And now, even if the force of a 2 to 1 pulley is calibrated correctly and the force of a 1 to 1 pulley is calibrated correctly, and they're both requiring 72.5 to hold it static, it's actually more difficult to move a one-to-one -one pulley in the initial instance. To get it moving is harder because the distance traveled is twice that of the distance traveled on the two-to-one pulley. But anyway, guys, I remember this pulley stuff. I don't know, if, when you went through high school, when I was in like year seven, year eight, we used to have homework questions and those homework questions would be a picture of a 10 kilo plate and then a cable going through a pulley and then the question would be how much what how much force is required to pick up this plate given the pulleys and if it's just over one it's a it's a one if it went through two and there was loops it became 50 percent you add more pulleys the weight gets easier guys Please, <laughs> please, for the sake of, for the sake of not seeming like fanboys, like over the top fanboys, please be okay with the fact that I highlighted the point that the 88 kilos was in fact 72. This is not discrediting Levan, not even the slightest bit. There's no point in us parading false numbers. It looks, it looks ridiculous, no matter who's posting it. Levan wasn't in control of the numbers. He was just lifting weights. And he did the 72 uh, better than Lachlan did the 72. 
mind you, we w I would have liked to have seen him go on because I kn we know Lachlan did the 75. We know Marcus Atirai also did the 72. So there are two people yeah, in my club who have done um, that lift that Levan did. Levan did it easier. I, gut feel, think that if you put Lachlan and Levan in the same room on that lift, that Levan would probably beat Lachlan by two or three kilos. Okay, certainly not by the 15 kilos that was suggested with the 88. Um, yeah. I, am, I was pretty happy, guys. I was pretty happy that so many of you thumbs down that last video. Uh, it made me laugh how simply, prevent, simply presenting some, some facts, something that isn't a debate. Um, it's not a debate. Uh, you can't debate physics. It just is a fact. Um, I love that so many people got so upset and venomous. It, it, when I say I love it, it just made me laugh, guys. Why? <laughs> My, your distaste for me overrides your, uh, your willingness to accept physics as law. <laughs> um, anyway. So, in my books, 75 kilos is still the heaviest lift I've personally seen. And none of these are official world records. They're all in different conditions. Um, some people are talking about the higher cable. Makes it harder, easier, whatever. Okay. First of all, let me just confirm for you, this is some more physics, that the higher cable, lower cable, makes no difference at all to the force required to hold the weight. No difference. So, if both are calibrated at 75 kilos, high, low, doesn't matter. What does matter is the angle of the bicep and the elbow joint. Okay, if it's 90 degrees, that's a fair start point. If it's, if it's a high pulley, you're gonna see people on their tricep at the start. If it's a low pulley, you're gonna see people on the point of the elbow at the start. Point being, it's still 90 degrees. Now, what the reason I like the low pulley is it takes away the ability to cheat. Now, when it's a high pulley and you're starting on your tricep, there's an ability to cheat by sliding your elbow forward, getting underneath the pulley, changing the angle. It's no longer 90 degrees, you can use shoulder. You see people picking weight up off the ground and calling it back pressure. It's not when they're lifting it up and it's their bone angle that's driving. So same thing, if you drive underneath, start underneath, you're using some of your bone angle to take some of the, the weight. So 90 degrees start is good. Whether it's high, low, as long as it's 90 degrees and your elbow doesn't creep forward or you don't drag, then it's pretty much the same conditions. Anyway, guys, I just felt inspired to put this video out there because so many of you were um, getting stuck into the comments that I thought I'd uh, give you my thoughts. All right, guys, I'm going to go watch a movie uh, with my fiance now. And uh, Levan, I love you, brother. I've already, and for YouTube World, I've already sent a message to Levan just letting him know that we're all good, that I love the dude. And uh, I'm sure he'll message back when he sees it. Um, I've also spoken to Larry's manager, Adam. And uh, he, yeah, saw it and was like, oh yeah, shit, damn, whoops, we missed that. Um, and I think they're gonna crane scale it. I said, look, dude, the easiest way, just go grab a crane scale. And they'll crane scale it. And then you'll, you'll all see when that crane scale comes out that it wasn't the weight that they reported, unfortunately. If it was, that'd be great, but it's not. And, ah, oh, one more point. Guys, this really, uh, this really clears up finally when you see all the videos of Oleg doing 130 and other Russians doing 100. Guys, all of that was false. False mechanics and physics on the reported numbers. Levan did 72.5 and that was a maximum effort um, or very close to a maximum effort. So all those other ones, we know there's, if Levan's doing 72, there's no one out there doing 120, let alone anything above 85. He's crazy. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Yes, that's a bet!